Good day everyone. Our topic for today is all about washing the grounded motor with fresh water. Yes, you heard right. Washing with fresh water. Watch this video first. As you can see in the video, washing the motor with a fresh water, that is true and that is the best solution that I need to do. First, the scenario is, we encountered low insulation resistance alarm in our 440 volt system. Then followed by sewage system abnormal alarm. Found out that the aeration blower motor is trip. Investigating that this motor is the cause of low insulation resistance alarm. Motor is full of water. First step is to disassemble this motor and after that washing fresh water to remove the dirt. The question is, why we need to wash fresh water instead electro solve? The answer is, we need to flush this dirt that causing bad odor with water it's because this is a residue coming from our sewage system. Next step, is blowing with compressed air. Make it sure that the motor is free from dirt. Now we need to use a special cleaning chemical. CRC 2.26 improves electrical properties that displaces and repel moisture, and penetrates, lubricate all metals. Or whatever available cleaning solution that you have on board, normally common cleaning solution that we use in big motors is electrosolve. Spray all over the motor and blow with air. Do this two to three times. We need to test this motor with IR tester, so that you can see the reading. Normally in this situation, the reading is still low. The IR meter reads 0.2 mega ohms. But we need to spray with this with a quick dry electrical contact cleaner. This quick dry electrical contact cleaner. It ideally used for electronic and powerful allow removing moist and dissolve quickly and leave no residue and contaminant and moisture and oil as per bottle description. Let's try. Next step, is baking. Baking is this motor is applying a heat in order to remove totally the moisture and dried up. I use only a sodium lamp 400 watts or halogen lamp 500 watts or whatever you have, if you have a heater much better. I bake this motor a total of 4 hours then cooling down. Then I R test to measure if this motor have improvements. Finally, the results is 500 to 600 mega ohms and up. Do this test 1 minute to ensure the accurate result of I R test. 
After that we need to insulate the motor winding with this electrical insulation paint. We have two color, the clear and the red. We use red so that we can see in the video. It's time to assemble this unit. We need to replace the bearing and oil seal and test with water to ensure the water can't penetrates to the motor in case this scenario happens again. This is the check valve or non-return valve. We already cleaned and tested this valve. Non-return valve installed a discharge of the blower. One of the cause why water is penetrate the motor is this valve. This valve has a dirt on the flaps and it not sealed the water in case it has back pressure. Thanks for watching and thank you for your time. Please like, share and subscribe our YouTube and don't forget to hit the bell for more updates. Also follow us on Facebook Barku TV.